The second activity that we're going to do is we're going, I'm going to show you a video clip and then I'm going to ask you several discussion questions regarding to that video. What images or pictures of God are cultivated in the songs we have sung? If someone came to worship with you and didn't know much about God, what would they learn through these songs? How do these songs help us understand who God is and what God has done? And are there other pictures or images of God that we need in worship? So those are questions that we need to answer based on this video. Okay, so I have like this one favorite one, let's see, about God. Um, I mean, I have three favorite ones. So I have one, Oceans by Hillsong, then I have Resurrecting, and the other one, I can't remember, I'm sorry. Uh, what is it? It's Reckless Love, that's my favorite one. It's my favorite one, I don't know why, but I just love it. How great he is, how powerful he is, and that he's everlasting, so no matter how long we're on this earth or we think he, it's gonna end, he's always gonna be here. So he was the beginning and he's gonna be all the way towards the end. My favorite worship songs emphasize God's love and our need for that love. One of my favorite worship songs of all time is the song that we did in choir. It's called Akir Eleison, Lord Have Mercy. And it's just a beautiful plea for God's love, but it's sung with the understanding that we already have it. The, those sort of songs that try to emphasize through music, what we can never get through just being spoken about, some, the depth of God's love for us, they bring me to a deep outpouring of emotion every time that we sing them. Rescue, I, um, I recently listened to it. It usually, it tells me in the lyrics, I looked up the lyrics and it says how um, he will always be there. We might be defenseless or hopeless, but he'll always be there and he hears our calls whenever we're crying or are sad. I like um, You Say by Lauren Daigle because um, it's about, you know, the way God tells us we are worth it. He tells us that you are loved. Um, he says you are beautiful because I created you and um, because I say so. Um, and I really like the way that it tells me who God is. And I also like um, Even If by Mercy Me because it talks about even if you're struggling, even if you have something going on in your life, um, it, if God doesn't answer your prayers, He's still rooting for you. He's still on your side. It just doesn't look like that at the moment, but it will all turn out in the end. My favorite worship songs tell me about what an amazing Father that we have and the sacrifices that He makes for us daily. And even though that we fall, we stumble, and we don't deserve any of what He gives us. He's still there for us no matter what, and He still follows us throughout our whole day. And He does everything in His power to keep us close to Him, and we need to be doing the same. So the second activity will be, number one, you're gonna print the two songs attached in the homework posting on RamWeb, Come Thy Found and Glorious Day. Then you're going to take the four questions that I just read before and you're going to discuss them in light of the two, uh, the two songs attached and the Bible passages from worshiptogether.com. Those four questions are going to be answered in the form of a single page essay. It's only one page what you're going to turn answering the four questions. So be creative there and make sure you watch your grammar and spelling. Again, this is a homework that is due this Friday, November 13. Have a good day.